If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable way to buy your FIFA 23 Ultimate Team coins, then please look no further than FIFAcoin.com. Time is running out, guys. Use the players that you want to. Get yourself over there. And don't forget to use my code Martin for an extra 5% off. Hi guys, Martin88 here and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video, another Endgame Taxes video here on the channel. We're nearly there, by the way. But today we're having a look at a formation that I think is overlooked and a formation that I think that people should consider more often. And this is a formation that over the years I actually used quite a lot. Maybe not as like my starting tactic, but definitely as like a second variation. It's the 4 2 3 one second variation. So without further ado, let's have a look. Okay, so obviously the big difference with the 4 2 3 one and the 4 2 3 one 2 if you like, it's just more defensive. Your wingers are deeper. That's all, you know. Um, so what have we got? Defensive style, balanced, obviously, because 4 2 3 one is very, very balanced, whether it's this version of the 4-2-3-1 or another one. Um, the defensive width, 40. That's very, very solid. We want to stay narrow. There's no need to go chopping and changing it around. Defensive depth, 55. You could go up to 60, depending on how comfortable you are with over-the-top through balls. But something in and around that mark is going to do you very, very well. Build-up play, balanced. Obviously, again, with the 4 2 3 one, it uh, offers a lot of different stuff but in terms of options. So it's pretty, pretty obvious to us that our build-up play is going to be on balanced. Chance creation, direct passing. You tell me a formation or tactic that doesn't have direct passing, and I would be very, very shocked. So that's pretty much given. Width, 50. No need to change around with that. The 4 2 3 one does give you width, at least from a starting point. Plays into the box, six. Corners and free kicks, both on one each. But obviously, with that, just change it to whatever you see fit. Um, but the higher that you put it up, the more you're going to get counted. Right, into the player instructions. So, guys, before we do that, did just want to remind you, I am still offering my online coaching, which will be going fantastic. Don't worry that we're nearly at the start of the new game. Trust me, the type of stuff that I go through, it won't matter. It's, it's a seamless transition with a lot of the guys that I'm already teaching. I very much go through FIFA-proof stuff which means stuff that you can use in every single game. So if you are interested and you want to get better, get in touch with me. The email address is martinfifa88 at gmail.com. Okay, so centre-backs, of course, stay back while attacking. That won't um, surprise you in the slightest. Full-backs are also stay back while attacking. Now, I've seen a few different versions of this online, and some people would have the um, full-backs attacking a bit more. But I've used this formation a lot across the years, and I've always used it in an instance where I just want to be more solid. So in the days gone by where 4 2 3 one would be my starting formation, I would also have this in there, um, particularly if I felt like I was having a dodgy 10 minutes or playing somebody that's a bit better than me. I'd revert back to this to just try and keep things solid for like 10 minutes or so. So for me, I don't want the fullbacks going anywhere, to be honest with you. Two CDMs. This can always be up for discussion with people. Okay, first thing I don't think is up for discussion is that they need to be cover centre, okay? Definitely cover centre. But then some people would have them both on stay back while attacking. I think that that leaves you too, too isolated going forward, not enough options, okay? So you need, to, for me, you need to have a little bit of something from one of them going forward, okay? And this is quite favorable. Some people will have one of them on balanced attack and the other one will stay back by attacking. I don't think that you really want both of them um, bombing forward because it's not really that kind of formation, you know? Um, and these two players here, Lamar and Sanchez, would fit that bill perfectly. At Cam, got Ronaldinho here, perfect Cam, by the way. He's just basic defensive support but get into the box for crosses. You will use this guy a lot to join the midfield and the attack, okay? Up front, Mbappe, absolutely perfect for the lone striker role. Stay central, stay forward, get in behind. So when you are defending, you're defending deep, then you can um, hit him long, get him behind, and he gives you an option, okay? Right, then on the wings, this is where it becomes a little bit different, okay? So they're on comeback on defense, 
cut inside, get in behind and get into the box of crosses. So what that means is that when we're defending, it's gonna be like a four, four, one, one, okay? But then when we attack, they are gonna make forward runs in behind and get nice and close to where Mbappe is to give him some support in the final third. So guys, there we go. I actually think that this is very, very viable formation. If you're looking to give it a go, then please do get in the comments, let us know how it goes for you. But guys, that is gonna be it for today. So please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. See you later guys, bye-bye.